Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com and ForexTrading.tv daily analysis for gold futures for Wednesday, November 6, 2013. Well, a change of trend today and the candle has made a higher high and a higher low. Previous day's trading we had a spinning top type candle suggesting that the previous downtrend was not he healthy and uh, set up the potential for a change of trend to the upside and we have had confirmation of that with today's trading. Today with that confirmation we've seen momentum in net terms shift back to the buyers with a white body candle and a fairly large white body compared to the previous two trading sessions. And it does suggest that in net terms the buyers are uh, attempting to build some momentum. But if we look at the shadow on the top of this candle and on the bottom, it suggests quite some indecision in this market. And for the third consecutive trading day we've seen the market test to the 1320 level and for the fourth consecutive trading day test uh, either to or above that level and be rejected from there. So it does suggest that 1320 is a very very important level for this market and is one that will have to be breached if this market is going to trade higher. If we can uh, see uh, early bullish activity up above the 1320 level and above the uh, highs of these three candles and the market closing up uh, above those levels we could quickly see the market testing to 1329 and even possibly beyond but the buyers would need to build some solid momentum to do that with this indecision in the market we've also seen the market once again finding support down below and to the 1309 level we also have the Kijin Sen trading just below there at 1306 so some very very strong uh, support uh, down around uh, uh, that area so quite some indecision in this market and this is uh, once again today's trading a, an indecisive candle but with a slightly larger body than the previous two trading periods. Looking at where the market has closed however we've closed up above the midpoint level suggesting that the buyers have closed with control. It's not strong control though because of this rejection that we saw from 1320 so there is some doubt about uh, whether the trend can, t can continue. But if we look uh, at the uh, sellers uh, side of the equation, there isn't really any strength from the sellers in this market. So that uh, certainly does raise doubt about whether they can change the trend to the downside. So here we have a market that's congesting between the resistance at 1320 and the support around 1309, extending now down to the, tank, the Kijun Center around 1306. Now in terms of the Fibonacci extension and we're examining the relationship of the new first time frame uptrend to the previous time the market was trending up and here we haven't seen the market interacting with any of the important levels yet and it suggests that if this market can trade up through the uh, highs of these current candles around this 1322, 1320 level we could see the market testing to the 23.6% level which coincides roughly with the area around the tankets end and does suggest in terms of the Fibonacci retracement, however, we have a slightly different picture here and here we've seen the market interact with the 23.6% level, push above there and be rejected to the downside from there and that was around the 13.18 level. With the market failing to close above there on a spinning top type candle, it does suggest a possibility of a change of trend to the backside, to the downside, sorry. So we are looking for a potential lower high and lower low. Now in terms of patterns in this market, we do have something of a uh, type of rectangle pattern that may be developing at the moment. Here we have the prior trend leading into the pattern and always important with patterns. Patterns are just congestion areas that form various shapes but we always have to have that trend leading into that congestion area of pattern and if we don't have that then we don't have a pattern in force. So here we have the trend, the congestion area with the uh, swing highs within the pattern roughly around equal levels and we are looking for a breakout. Um, in this case with the market trading down below the cloud uh, we are looking for a potential breakout to the downside and looking for this to be a continuation pattern. There is a possibility of it being a reversal pattern. If it's a reversal pattern the uh, um, objective would be the uh, distance of the uh, pattern between the uh, highs and the lows here projected up so it gives us a an area up around the uh, bottom of the cloud as a potential target for this pattern and would coincide with the market trading around the 10 cent so strong resistance up around this area. To the downside the target would possibly be around the 1289 level very close to where the price action was uh, 
obviously completion of the pattern would be a close above or below the pattern so what we're looking for for greater confidence would be a bullish close if the breakout is to the upside or a bearish close if the breakout is now in terms of Vigimoku, obviously a bearish market in the uh, long term time frame with the market trading down below the cloud but we have a bullish market in the medium term time frame uh, by trading above the Kijinsen and the Kijinsen is acting as a strong area of support for this market so uh, we're getting some mixed signals with this market the market is trading down below the Tenkinsen, we had the bearish breakout some time ago so bearish in the short term time frame and looking here at the Chico span that's closed just at the uh, corresponding close and suggesting that there is much indecision in this market and we already know that by uh, seeing this market being bound between the very strong resistance overhead and the strong support below so we are waiting for resolution of uh, uh, gestive trading that we're seeing at the uh, at the moment and in line with the market trading down below the cloud it does suggest that with that bearish bias that uh, the greater probability would be a breakout to the downside. Now obviously 1300 round number support down below may limit any breakout with that we see below the Kijin Sen and the lows of that pattern but if we do see bearish activity down below there we could quickly see the market trading down to 1266 so we are on the uh, on the lookout for that but we never preempt the market we wait for evidence and evidence uh, will be the breakout in either direction.